Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar and today I want to review the Tonewood Amp. I've been seeing a lot of people online raving about this product so I want to try it out for myself and see if it's as good as everybody says it is. If you don't know anything about the Tonewood Amp, basically what it's supposed to do is create effects for your acoustic guitar. So without having to you know, plug into a PA system or anything like that, uh, this is basically um, a miniature PA system that you can just connect to your guitar and it while you're sitting there playing you can have uh, you know reverb and delay and all of these effects just coming out of your guitar without having to carry around an amp and all of this other stuff so though I haven't tried it yet it seems really cool it's a really cool idea and I can see using something like this uh, you know playing with friends around a campfire or playing for uh, small groups in like a church service or something like that where we don't have a PA system we're just kind of like you know sitting around in a small group setting having something like this would be really cool if it uh, if it works the way everybody says it does so I'm gonna be testing it out to hopefully help all of you make a better decision for yourself but step number one is to get this thing installed and I went on the website and there's a list of uh, videos uh, to help you install this thing it seems like a pretty uh, pretty in-depth process to get it installed but you know the idea is once it's installed uh, it's it's in there the other thing I realized just by watching other people play with it is uh, is that it's not something that you can just uh, you know I'll play it on this guitar for five minutes and then hey you put it on your guitar you try it for five minutes and then give it back to me it's not like that because you have to install it literally you got to put something on the inside of your guitar that makes it connect to the back of your guitar with magnets and things like that it doesn't damage your guitar but it connects with magnets so you know once you put it on your guitar you're not going to want to uh, take it off and put it on another guitar very often so anyway let's go ahead and get this thing installed and let's see what it can do all right so what we're going to need to install this thing is obviously we got the tone wood amp we're going to need some um, masking tape blue 3M painters masking tape. And then we're also going to need three AA batteries as well. So we'll start by unpacking this thing. We have this cord, the actual tone wood amp. And then we have this magnet. This is going to be going inside the hole of the guitar. I'm not sure what this is. And that's it. Something I did notice is that um, there's two different versions of the tone wood amp. Um, there's one where if you have an acoustic electric guitar, which is what I have. And that just means that I have the pickup system, you know, I can plug in my acoustic guitar. Okay, it has a plug here. Um, so if your acoustic guitar does not have its own, you know, pickup system built in where you can plug it in, uh, then you need to buy the Tonewood amp that has the, uh, the, the pickup, you know, the pickup would go, would fit in the hole of your guitar right here. Uh, in order to like electrically pick up the volume I guess I don't know the right lingo for that all right now according to their video on their their installation guide we need to start off by flipping the guitar over and then placing the amp on the back of the guitar where we'd want to put it okay and then we need to tape it down uh, with tape and this is going to be we're kind of uh, ballparking where we want to put the the amp and where we want it to stick to because then the next step is putting this thing on uh, inside the guitar okay so now we're gonna flip it over uh, and we need to install um, this X brace so this is going to hold the tone one amp on the back of my guitar it has uh, an adhesive underneath these little sticky things so but before I take these off and stick it to my guitar first I'm going to do uh, what they call a dry test where you put this in here with this like right now it's not sticky okay so I'm just going to put it in there and make sure that it's uh, attracted to the Tonewood amp on the back and you know none of the bars running across my guitar are in the way or anything like that uh, and then after it's all good then I can take these stickers off and actually stick it on the inside of my guitar. So but before I can do any of that I need to loosen up my strings so that I can you know get my hand in here. 
Looks to me the best way to do this is going to be to spread the bottom three strings out one way and the other, the top three strings out the other way and put my hand in the middle. So now let's give it a try. Get the X brace in there. Okay, now you see this is exactly why you do this dry test because there is a, uh, my hardware for my guitar uh, is in the way for this, for the X brakes to go far back enough to connect uh, to both, you know, for, for all four magnets to connect. So I'm going to have to move the tone wood amp a little bit higher on the back of my guitar so I can get all four magnets on there. Okay, I think I'm ready to set it, so I'm going to take these little stickies off. Okay, so now I got the tape off. Just put it on here and I'll drag until I feel it pull. Oh, there it is. It's nice and tight. Take it off, I can just pick it up like that. So that seems nice. That ain't going anywhere. It's nice and sturdy, and what's cool is it. You know, it comes off super easy. It doesn't leave any any residue on your guitar like that. All right, now it's just to give it a try. Oh, before we can try it, we gotta install the batteries. Okay, and then we just gotta go from the input in here to the back of my guitar here. Before I plug it in, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna get set up to to try it out. All right, so I got everything hooked up. Um, I plugged it in, and uh, let's see. So now all I need to do is turn the thing on. I'm making sure uh, to keep all of my EQs even. My volume, bass, and treble are all just uh, at 50%. There's a little blue button, a power button, so I can click on, hold that down until it turns on, and there's a little screen right here. So it's really cool. I like that I can, you know, I could be playing and then I can look down and see, you know, the screen from, from my angle. I hear a little, little, hear a little hum, so it sounds like it's on. So now's the moment of truth. Let's give it a try. Let me turn my volume off all the way. Okay, that's with, with nothing, no volume. Hopefully you guys can hear this with this mic. Now let me put the volume back on. All right, just at uh, just putting it at 50 50 percent halfway. That's crazy. It's like where is it coming from? That is nuts. I don't see a speaker on this thing. Where is the sound coming from? It's literally coming from the sound hole. How is that possible? That's 
that's just a little bit of delay. I, I haven't really looked at all the effects that are available on here yet, but man, I am kind of blown away right now. I don't, I really don't understand how this is even working. It's, it's blowing me away. It sounds like the effects are coming from the whole of my guitar, which is bizarre. But it, it makes it feel almost like it, like natural, like it's part, like it's part of the guitar, uh, and not like an amp somewhere over there, right? Because typically, and I don't know necessarily this is good or bad, but you know when you have an amp, you're playing through an amp. Even like, if it's just me and an amp, uh, there's what I'm playing that everybody can hear, and then there's what's coming out of the amp which everybody can hear, and it's it's two different sounds, right? But this is like one sound coming out of the sound hole. Uh, so it's, it, I think that's what's throwing me off, is it's all just one sound, and uh, I don't know, it almost feels like I'm playing, it almost feels like I'm playing in a naturally acoustic place, and the sound is just reverberating, you know, naturally. That's what it feels like when I'm playing with this thing. I'd say the only hard part was the installation. That was a little bit complicated. Um, but for what this thing does, it's, it's not that bad. You know, the installation process is, is worth, worth the fight. In the past, I've, I've played, you know, on stage with, um, with effects on my acoustic guitar, on this same guitar, plugged into a uh, pedal where I've had reverb and delay and those t the same kind of effects that we have here. That pedal by itself was... I don't know, maybe four or five hundred dollars just for that pedal. And then that pedal can't amplify itself. You have to plug it into something. So you have to plug it in to, you know, a PA system or you have to plug it into an amp. So that's a separate price in itself. And uh, when you consider that this thing can do all of those effects while it's just sitting here on the back of my guitar and I don't need to lug around a bunch of pedals and, and an amp and all of this stuff. That's pretty cool. So for the tone, for this tone wood amp, you're looking at a price of about $250, um, which at first I was a bit concerned about because I, I wasn't sure, you know, what it would do or the quality uh, that it would have. But now that I've, I've played with it, man, that is a very decent price considering what this thing can accomplish. Uh, when, when you think about the fact that I'm not, I don't need to have a pedal and an amp or, or a PA system. Now it's different if I'm going to be playing in front of hundreds of people. Um, then you know, this isn't amplified in terms of volume. The volume level is going to be the same if this thing is on or off. So it's not amplifying my volume, but what it's doing is it's just adding the effects on the volume that's already there. Okay, so um, so it's really going to be useful in small group settings when you're playing either by yourself or for a couple, for a few people, maybe a room full, even a room full of people. Uh, anywhere that people can hear you play the acoustic without being plugged in, um, this thing is going to help add those effects that you couldn't have unless you also bought a pedal and a sound system. So for that reason by itself, I think the price is worth it. But if I'm going to be playing in front of, you know, uh, three, 300 people in, a, in an auditorium or in a, in a big room or for, you know, a church service with three, 400 people, then, I, and I'm going to be plugged into a PA system, then I'm not going to be using this. In fact, I don't think I can use this if I'm going to be plugged into a PA system. Um, I'm not sure, actually, but I would assume, oh, maybe, maybe you can. There's an output on here. Huh. So you probably can use this uh, to plug into a PA system to give effects to your guitar, even if you're playing in a PA system, that's pretty cool. So that's another plus for this thing. But um, regardless, you know, I'm not going to be using this thing to amplify the sound, to make it louder. So uh, you're not going to want to buy this thing for that purpose. Um, so what it's again, what it's useful for is to add those effects, to add delay, to add reverb, to add that that hall of the concert room kind of feel. Um, all that reverb and delay and those kind of things to your acoustic playing, which is insane. That is just really cool. So I think it's uh, definitely worth it uh, in my book. I'm going to be using it a lot. And as always, uh, I never recommend products 
to anybody unless I use it myself. So this is definitely something that I'm going to look forward using. If it is something that you're interested in, I'm going to include a link down below in the description where you can get 10% off this tone wood amp. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I come out with new lessons and videos like this. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.